Hey y'all, welcome to the Figure Spotlight. And today we're going to be unboxing a Q Posket figure. This here is a different type of figure that, you know, it's my second one that I'm, I'm going to unbox to show all of you. And it's, you know, I kind of think it's similar to a Funko Pop, but just a little bit better. Um, Q Posket, what it is basically is kind of a chibi version of the figure, a little bit details to the face with a little bit larger eyes, and it has a little bit more passionate emotion in the face compared to a Funko Pop. Um, so let's actually dive into what today's video is going to be. Today's video is going to be on the Q Posket right here. This is from the Beauty and the Beast, and this is Bella. I think that's her name from her you Bella. And um, but right here, you can see here on my power turntable, you can see the box, and this is the figure we'll be unboxing today. So before we do that, just to make sure everyone here who is watching, my name is Aaron. I'm a collector. I collect figures, video games, cards, whatever I want to share with you guys, I'm going to show it here on this channel. And I hope you guys like the stuff I show you. So if you do, I would love it if you could press the uh, subscribe button and also the like button. If you could do that, it would really help me and support me. Also, last thing, if you guys have any questions in today's training, not, tra not training, God, I'm in my, my training stages here now, guys, because I do do training for work. But in today's video, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to write it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best I can, okay? All right, let's dive into this figure. So you can see here in the box, you know, on my power turn turntable here, you can see what the box kind of looks like as I showed you earlier. Um, I'm actually going to pick it up and we're going to go ahead and show you up in my other camera here and the closer up of this. So like with any video here, we will always check out the box and then we un we open it up and check the figure. So let's start right here with this uh, front of this box here. You can see this nice expression on this figure and what it's kind of going to look like on this box. There's actually two different ways you can present this box if you decide to display this on your shelf without even opening it, maybe collecting it or anything like that. But you do have it on this side with this nice yellow here. And then also same thing, but you have a little bit more kind of zoomed out version of her. We can see a little bit more of her body. And it does say it does say Q, the Q Posket right here. Now we do have it here where it says Perf Magic. Perfume Magic? Perfume Magic? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Never that's my first time seeing that. But um, that's right underneath the Q Posket, so I'm not sure what that means, but that is what it says there. You guys can look at it. If you need to, you can see the character's name, Bella, there. We have a flower over here. It's in white. And also, this is made by Van, uh, Van Presto. So, and then we have the Disney logo over here. On the side, you can see here's another expression of Bella here. Looks like she's getting ready to put perfume on. And we have the Beauty and the Beast information right there, which is pretty cool. On the top, you'll see another different version of her shown with the uh, Beauty and the Beast and more of her, just her main face. And then on the other side here, we have different poses. And you can see here, there's two different versions of Bella. You can see here, one's got gold and one has orange. Um, I believe I have the gold one here with the flower that's on the box. Um, but they do have it to where if you have the uh, mirror, um, that would be a different version of this figure. So I do have the gold one. All right, so let's dive into this. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this box. First time ever for this one. And don't forget, there's three tapes, one on each side. I almost ripped the box on the other one doing this. So make sure you get all the tape. Oh, I'm already ripping it. Might have to fast forward. Oh my gosh, what am I doing, Aaron? Okay, I got one side. There we go. So you open the box. All right, just like just like the other one that I opened before, comes in a nice cardboard protector, and she's just in a plastic bag. Now you can see here, she is in three pieces, um, just like the other one. So I would, I would assume most Q Posket figures are going to be in three pieces: body, stand, and also the head. So let's start with the stand, since I already started opening that one. So this stand here is white. It does say Q Posket on there. Let me get a close shot and you can see here, you know, some texture on that. Let's get the body out next. So 
So here is the body of uh, Bella. She is sitting down. See, she's putting perfume on. So pretty cool. We'll check that out in a second. And the last thing is the actual head of Bella. And this is where this figure shines against the cute Posca figures as the face is well designed. As in there's more expression, the eyes look you know, very chibi to the body and everything, so um, the figure itself actually looks really, really cute, especially if you love Disney itself. Um, this would be perfect for your Disney collection. So. All right, so all you're gonna do here is basically you connect the head and the neck together. Should be pretty simple and easy. Um, you, know, you know, try not to force it too hard, but make sure you get it on um, correctly. It shouldn't move too much once you get it on. See how I move the whole body now? Um, and there you go. So we have her sitting down. You can just look at that nice little stance of her. Um, this would be perfect for anyone who loves Beauty and the Beast, um, especially if they want to show it off. The stand here doesn't have anything to support it, as in there's nothing to like attach it to the figure. So what you're going to do here is literally put the stand where you want it, and you're just going to set it her on top of this uh, uh, stand. So for this case, before we go and look through this uh, figure here, we're going to keep the stand off because I don't want to drop the figure. And so like with any figure that I do, if you've watched my videos, we go from the top to the bottom and we look at the details of the figure. So starting with her face, as I've already mentioned here, nice expression, very cute. Um, look at those big old eyes like I've mentioned before. And this is what cute Poskett's uh, you know, design is famous for. A very cute, large eyes, kind of anime-ish design. Um, for these figures, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can see that. Now her hair is just mainly just brown. Um, it's kind of like a matte brown. You know, there's no additional colors or anything like that. We do have a yellow band here, you know, for her ponytail, I guess you could say. Um, then you get to her dress. Her dress is mainly just pure yellow with some of the gold to, you know, break up some of that yellow, which is actually really nice to have. You can see here by her waist, it's also gold as well. And then you can see here, even her arms, they're all yellow. And then you have that little perfume bottle. And you can see the small details in that, which is pretty cool. So it's pink and purple. All in the back, what she's sitting on, looks like a little uh, chair of some sort, uh, or a stool. But it is like kind of a, you know, a pink or dark red uh, color there. It does say right there on the end, I don't know why it's right there, but it says Disney. Uh, I think it says Made in China. Kind of awkward why it's there and then on the bottom of her you know you can't see anything under there you know she's good and but you can see here kind of like what would be underneath the dress you know if she was like spinning in a circle you could kind of see like that come out a little bit you know um, but that is is there so most people would even see that anyways but uh, that is there and you can see her feet right there or shoes i should say so that is it for the uh, figure. And then on the stand, as I mentioned, you can see there it says cute paws. Can you have all that texture there? Now I'm gonna put this on my turning table. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna stick her right on top. So you guys can check it out in different angles. This is the, uh, you know, the unboxing of the cute paws uh, Bella from Beauty of the Beast. So uh, very awesome Disney, you know, cartoon or movie, you know, I should say movie. Um, it's been a while actually since I've seen, you know, the original movie, uh, Beauty and the Beast. But I used to watch it as a kid, you know, with all the other Disney movies, of course, as well. So, you know, really cool for people who would love this figure as a gift, you know, who loves Disney, especially Beauty and the Beast. Um, will make a great little collection to put on their shelf, their computer desk, or whatever. Um, so really nice. Uh, I do would highly recommend this, you know, um, as well, over a Funko Pop. So if you get like a Funko Pop of the Bella version, um, this will easily destroy the Funko Pop, as in just the cuteness and looks of it in general. Um, so besides that, I hope you guys liked that video. So definitely, um, you know, hit that like button and subscribe if you liked it. And if you want to check out some of the other figures, um, definitely check out my channel and see uh, if there's something else you want to check out. If it's League of Legends or if it's anime or if it's like Disney now that I'm doing. Um, definitely check it out. So pretty cool. And also, if you have any questions, write in the comments. If you have any questions at all, I'll try to help you guys out, okay? So besides that, that is it for today's video. 
you guys and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video peace